How's it going guys? Our Triple XC here and this is kind of a follow-up video to the video I did uh, the other day um, and it's because somebody actually or a couple people kind of got together and made a tabletop version tabletop simulator version of Marvel United the game I was talking about um, and I'm really really hyped for this game so uh, this video is kind of more for the people who are really interested in it um, and like the people in the discord that I've been talking to uh, Mr. Bacon, I believe is his name on Discord, uh, really had a lot to do with the actual, like, building of the mod and tabletop. Uh, and then a couple other people, uh, like, going through all the little videos and stuff that we've had so far and, like, pulling out the card arts and pulling out everything and putting it into the game. It actually happened really quickly and really efficiently. So, uh, I'm really happy about it and I really want to show it off to everybody. So, um, if you've never opened tabletop before, <clears throat> basically... Um, you get tabletop, it's like a mod hub almost, and you can download different mod packs and things like that and put them into the game. Now to download the mod pack, or that's what I'm calling them, I don't really know what they're called. <clears throat> to download the mod pack for this game, uh, if you want to join the Discord server, I'll put it, uh, I'll put a link in the description and right here, uh, for you to join the server. Uh, we have a save section of all the different, uh, important files and links, uh, and we'll have a link there for the steam download for the uh mod pack anyway i just want to get into it and show you what it looks like and for those of you who really want to do it show you how to set it up and a little bit of like how to play the game and stuff like that so here we are on the home screen um if you're playing by yourself uh just go ahead and hit create uh and do a single player and then i have a couple mod packs downloaded of course i have like my bakugan and stuff and a couple different things uh you need to find go to the workshop and that's all your downloaded mods uh, and you can find it in here. So I have a bunch of stuff here. Again, here's Bakugan, a bunch of other random stuff that I've been messing around with. Uh, but go to Marvel United. It's a work in progress, uh, WIP. Uh, and I don't think it's public on the Steam store, uh, because we didn't really want to, um, you know, it's not done. We're not entirely sure. And we don't want people to necessarily judge their idea of the game on this mod per se even though it personally i think it works amazing all right so here we are in tabletop uh fully 3d fully uh customizable moddable you can move stuff around um and just you know have a good time so um they're constantly updating this we've done updates uh the past couple of days to add different stuff to the game and uh it, it's it's pretty much everything you need to play so far um and uh, if you've never done tabletop, there's just a couple helpful things, all right? So, uh, to deal with things, so we have our Captain America deck here. Um, to play cards and such, uh, if you click and drag, just a quick click and drag, you're going to take off the top card of the deck and then place it. Obviously, this is upside down. It's kind of a problem, but uh, the F key on the keyboard will flip the card. Uh, another thing, instead of having to zoom in uh, with the scroll reel, uh, every time, if you hold Alt over a card, it will give you a uh, fully um, uh, zoomed in thing. Also, helpful tip if you're kind of moving around on the table here and you're zoomed out and you want to see something up close, if you hover your mouse over a certain area and hit Z, it'll bring you to that area pretty quickly. So if I'm trying to check my fear tracker on the red skull here uh, and I can see where it is. If you hit Z again, it'll zoom you back out to where you were before. Really helpful. Also, a nice thing that was added recently on this mod is the rule book. So, uh, Tabletop has a new uh, picture-in-picture -picture mode. Um, and if you hit pop out here, you actually are still in the game. Uh, it's kind of see-through, as you can see. You're still in the game, um, but you do have a picture-in-picture uh, -picture version of the rule book here. So, for those of you who aren't already interested in the game, if you want to come check this thing out, we have the rules on the table for you. So, it's not that hard for you to deal with, okay? Uh, so, I thought that that was really cool, too. Uh, and that actually stays on the table, so it's always there for you. We have all the tokens here, um, so everything that you see here is already ready to go and everything. Um, uh, these are all the locations. Another thing to do, uh, if you need to look inside of a deck and see what's in there, uh, you can right-click and hit search. And on the right here, you will see everything that's in the deck. I think I need to move my screen here a little bit, but yeah, you can kind of see there that everything's in here. I can hover over them if I hold alt, uh, or if you just leave your mouse over, it'll zoom out and you can see. So obviously these images are a little blurry. That's okay. Um, but you can still kind of see and get things going. Uh, another helpful tip, tip about the decks. Uh, if you want to shuffle 
all you have to do is hit the R key over the deck and you can see there that it is shuffling. I'll zoom in so you can see R, shuffles, 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 and it's random, okay? Um, currently there's no hotkey for drawing, so if you wanna right click and draw, you draw a card to your hand and you will have it in your hand here. And it'll always be kind of at the bottom of the screen, which is kind of helpful. Um, you know, say we draw three cards, they're always at the bottom of my hand, but they're also physically on the table at the bottom of my hand here. So that way, if I'm zooming in, I know what I've got. Again, I can hover over cards in my hand, hold alt to show me what they say, and it makes it really easy. So, um, one thing that I like to do when I'm playing this game currently, uh, if you go to objects here at the top of the screen, um, you can go to tables and switch the table to a round table. This one tends to not work that well. Round glass does though. Uh, and I have everything set up on a round table because the way the game works, you kind of work in a circle with the cards and that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, but let's go ahead. I have a game kind of already set up. It is with an older version of the mod. Uh, so I don't want you to think that, uh, where is it? This one? Yeah, I don't want you to think that this is the final thing, but this is where I had everything set up. Okay. So, uh, you go ahead and set up everything um, on the cards are the little pre, pre where you put the heroes and stuff, or not heroes, civilians and thugs. So I go ahead and set those out. Uh, I take the uh, threat cards and shuffle them and you put them out randomly. Also, this is one too many zones. I, this was a couple of days ago, <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, but uh, I like to use dice for the health of the enemies. So for like the little mini villains, uh, and yeah, that's kind of it. So uh, the way I do it, uh, say turn one, I got the red skull. I'll put him here, flip him over, and that starts the game. So uh, I got my heroes opposite of the red skull. Red skull says drop two tokens here, and oh, I got to move one. So click, drag, put them over one. I got to place two, and then one, one. So I'll do one. Can't place another on this one, so that actually adds to his effect up here. If you don't know about the game yet, that's what happens. It says if you if uh, you can't place any of the tokens, you up the fear track by one. So he starts at one. We just did that. Can't fix, fit it, so we're going to go up one more. Okay. Um, and does this card have a BAM effect? No. Okay. So uh, you play like that. You add another uh, hero token here. One here. And then one on the left side of them. So these are now full. Right click lets you kind of um, axis move, Y axis move around. Uh, and mouse wheel lets you move around this way. Also WASD moves you around the board as well. So um, uh, for playing by myself, when I've just been playing like two players, I've been drawing and just draw to the same hand. Two, three. And now I have my two characters and then I would just play them from how it goes here. So I would just drag out. Another helpful tip is that if you hit Q and E, uh, you can tilt your card. So if we're going in a circle here, we can kind of start, you know, making a circle happen a little bit. Start turning a little more and just start kind of moving around that way. So anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful uh, for those of us who are trying to get into the game and use it in tabletop. And for my usual subscribers, I hope that this is a cooler look at the game from yesterday. Um, I'm going to be doing like a full gameplay video. They take about 20, 25 minutes. Um, and I'm going to be doing that relatively soon. Maybe visual will play with me or something like that. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And stay tuned for more Marvel United, Bakugan, whatever else comes to mind in these next four weeks where I have nothing to do. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.